Welcome back to this uh, second part of the tutorial and uh, here we're gonna look at uh, I can simulate also and we're gonna use it to test and simulate the lift function that we just created and uh, we're also gonna look at uh, creating simulation groups in I can simulate and how we can use this for simulating faults in the system like uh, open circuits and similar and when we're simulating them in MD4 we will also have a look at the MD4 menu system with uh, measure groups and uh, look at the system lock. To start the simulation I select simulate and run. I can also use the F9 key for this and uh, I select new simulation here and uh, this starts a simulation on the PC of uh, this and I have an error here joystick low error so this is a simulated error on my uh, uh, voltage input for the joystick so I can acknowledge this and right now I don't want to see the MD4 display page there's nothing on it so I can sh hide this simulation I can minimize the I can simulate window and I can just use the sliders here to uh, simulate uh, the function and if I want to check the dead band I can use the control and arrow keys to see that uh, when I'm stay within my 10% dead band, I have no output. And when I go just outside of the dead band, I start out and I get the minimum current and then I can uh, move it uh, proportional all the way up to my maximum current. And the same thing in the other direction. Now let's look at this uh, error that we had before, uh, the error on the voltage input. I'd like to uh, simulate uh, that uh, again to look at uh, what creates this uh, error. So let's uh, bring up uh, the simulator and we can also use the I can simulate window uh, f to uh, run the slider. And here I, here I can simulate over the entire range simulating uh, errors at both ends. It's a little bit easier if I add this to a simulation group. So I just drag this over here and drop it into the simulation group. And I can also switch here between raw value and scale. Uh, so this is the raw value and then the scale value. So let's look at raw value and uh, I can decrease it or I can just type in, let's type in 500 millivolts. So uh, 500 millivolt is my minimum voltage and 4500 is the maximum voltage. And these are my calibration points. And I can go a little bit uh, outside of this range, but if I get too low, it will throw up this uh, low error. So this would typically be an indication of an open circuit. And uh, if I go in the other direction here, it will show a high error. So that's uh, uh, if the value is higher, uh, too or too high above the calibration point. To look at this in some more detail, I'd like to add a measure group and a, a menu system. So what we do is we just stop our simulation here. So we need to do that so that we can edit it. And then we uh, go to diagnostics here and measure groups and I right click here and add a measure, measure group. Let's uh, name this uh, uh, lift function. And we select the application and we select uh, our three channels here and we drop them onto the lift function here. and. Then they show up here and we will be able to graph measure on them. And I also like to be able to look at this on the MD4 user interface. So let's add a MD4 display page here. Uh, let's call this uh, main uh, page. And uh, I just need a way of uh, accessing the menu system. So select symbol button and we can have a default button for this we select button uh, image library buttons menu large and this has the default action to go to the menu system so let's look at how this looks in the simulator 
So we start the simulation with the run button, F9, and uh, as we start the simulation we see this uh, little simulate window popping up and here we see our uh, display page. Uh, if I create an error here we see this uh, low error again. So let's go in and have a look at this uh, measure group that we created and uh, we find it here and we can use this uh, slider here to change the values and you see this changing in the menu system. If we want to have a look at how this looks in Icon Design, uh, we can look at the graph measure there. So let's click on lift function here. We don't need to see the MD4 display page for this. And uh, here, uh, when I change it, I can see the values uh, changing like this. So we go back to the MD4 uh, menu system and let's also have a look at the system log here. So we have uh, logs, MD4 log, and here we see those events that we created before. So everything we did uh, got stored in the system log. So all those errors and you see system started. That's uh, when I'm simulating, that's every time I start my simulation, I get the system started. Every time you switch on the icon system, you get the system started event. And um, that way you have a reference point for this. To look at some of the other built-in diagnostics, let's uh, simulate a couple of other errors. So we can go to this uh, uh, system view in I can simulate here. And if I select my XA2 here, I can Set, uh, by right-clicking on it, I can set the status to no contact and I'll have this as an error message showing up. I'll also have that in the system log. Uh, let's bring that back to OK here and uh, I'll just uh, put this uh, output back to uh, zero. And uh, let's uh, activate this again and uh, have a look at application. We can uh, go to our current output and right click on that in Icon Simulate and we simulate the open load error. And you have the same thing there, uh, it pops up as an error message and I'll also have that in the system log. Uh, so uh, for the next uh, part we should uh, look at adding some more functionality.